got yet. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here to set up for the pop up this weekend. No one else is here yet apart from me and Rivers, but I had to leave my house at 6.45 this morning to get all the stuff from the studio and then travel all the way here and then be here on time for like the rail delivery and everything. It's like set up and that's Rivers doing. Hey. And these are all the bags for the rails. We're, oh, they're there. I still have loads to do and I think Sharon and Susie are here now so I'm gonna go and say hi. Let me show you what the light on. It is. The quality of that is it's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yours. Nice zoo boots. Zoo boots. <laughs> and then. Scarf from Vivian. Aquino. What's the queen wearing today? Um, so obviously these are from GH Base Loafers. This is from Vivian. And the top is from my vintage shop. But it's from Mastro. Both in our jackets. Twinning. All black. We are literally Pants. twinning. Powerful women. <laughs> Hey guys, so I didn't do a proper intro yesterday of my whole pop-up and stuff because it was just such a hectic day. It was just a lot to do and we were just busy kind of organising the space and the time went so quickly. Like I got there at 9.20 and we only basically finished at like 4.30 and then we ate dinner and then we had our launch party which started at 6 and we had to get ready and stuff. We were very kindly sponsored by Tony Chocolates, Claw and LA Brewery Kombucha and it was just so amazing like the whole setup looked amazing. Sharon did an amazing job off the table making it all look nice. I didn't really get to film anything just because you know, when you're at the launch party you don't really want to ruin the moment by getting your camera out um, and it was just so nice to meet everyone, talk to everyone properly and I just had a really great time and today we're opening at 11 i've come into the studio it's like nine now because i had to go and collect my viviway mini skirts because i only bought two size smalls yesterday because that was like all i had to bring like, that i could like make within a quick turnover but i've collected more today to bring and sell at the pop-up but i'm going to show you what i'm wearing today for the pop-up i leave very very soon because i need to get there and we need to like clean up from last night and also like put stuff on hangers so this is just my jumper which is like old stone island it's it's like a beige off-white kind of color it's more so just for warmth white corseted top which was actually on my depop but i tried it on again and i just love it and i've decided to keep it this skirt which i think i showed in my haul like midi skirt very feminine outfit with my white slightly heeled ballet pumps and my beige trench coat very smart very girly but i feel like i love dressing like this Right now. But yeah, I'm gonna head to the pop-up now just because it takes me like 40 minutes from Brixton. I'm so excited to start the day. last day of the pop-up today and i've come in a bit earlier just because i wanted to sort a few things out i haven't really filmed like the pop-up at all just because it's so difficult to film always doing something more time to speak to ruby susie and sharon who's outsourced vintage like i've obviously bought less clothes and so i don't have to do as much and i've just really enjoyed just kind of chilling a little bit more this time yesterday i wish i could show you what i was wearing just because i loved my skirt yesterday and i bought this amazing like bolero cardigan thing from ruby and also this Burberry scarf and it just matched the whole outfit so I had to get it. I'll show you what I'm wearing before everyone comes. I got this really cute yellowy lace top with a pink bow in it. This is the back as well which is really cute. I'm wearing this grey belt. This skirt which is like this black flowy skirt. It has like ribbons on it and it's got like a little slit. I don't know if you can really 
to me that well. Got Chinese slipper things. It really ties it together. This is the coat that I wore this morning. This is like a burgundy leather long jacket with this fur here, which I love. It's very OTT. We usually leave all of this stuff outside um, whilst the shop is open, obviously. But it, all of it's here right now. And this is Ruby's rail. This is Susie's rail. Super cute. And then the front three here are mine, looking quite messy. This is Sharon's. zombie this morning I'm walking to the space it's like 11 30. these are pack up i'm meeting susie and sharon they're coming in around now maybe in half an hour but i need to basically drop all of the stuff off to brick lane to my shop so i'll take you guys with me but i also need to wait clean up the place and wait for the guys to pick up the rails and stuff um i literally can't speak Look at the aftermath. It's actually really sad seeing it like this because it was so cute over the weekend and so busy. Um, I'm just gonna like sort out all my hangers now. This is a few landscapes where it's like. It's Tuesday now and we've come into the studio. I went to the factory this morning to pick up some Vivue samples. Bolero thing, I'd be at the pop-up and same with the scarf. I'm obsessed with the combo so I thought I'd wear it today. And then this grey bardo top, diesel belt and then my blue anchor jeans which I literally wear all the time which are from 194 Local. Um, and then my white salamons, a lot of admin work and we have loads of packages to post today so Rivers is doing that and then we're both just going to tidy up the studio. It got better than it did before just because last time I showed in the vlog I took out all the pop-up stuff so like there were bags everywhere. I've obviously taken a lot of the stuff to Clean Market as well but it is still messy like there's empty hangers everywhere which I need to put back. But I also tried on my samples from the factory this morning and I am obsessed with them. Really really happy with them. I'm not going to show you them yet just because I need to make a few changes. The Vivi Way skirts that we need to parcel up today and Rivers is just doing the last of the stuff we sold over the weekend. But we have so much Vivi Way stuff. My seamstress is actually coming at three to drop off some more Vivi Way skirts because we completely sold out and sold out of the pre-orders. And all of the pre-orders now, I've used up all of the scraps um, and fabric scraps from the old skirts that were used to make the skirts. So I've just ordered some more cycled nylon and taken off the whole using fabric scraps and stuff. Um, on the website because I don't have any more so it's been using new fabric now from now on it looks a lot more empty than it did before just because that whole rail was filled with clothes this is like only half full I just haven't pushed it to the end I've still got empty baskets here and then this whole floor is like clear which is just so nice to have a proper walkway and it not look so crowded anymore um, I'm also going to unpack some of these bags, take some to Brick Lane and also hang some up on the extra space that we now have. These are our Vivi Way ties. You can't really see because it's really dark at the moment, but they're super cute. The back. Tires. I actually really, really like them. I did them on Photoshop. And then this is the back. This means thank you in Cantonese, which is kind of know a little bit of because I'm from Hong Kong so this says Dodge Air um so it's really cute I really really am happy with these flyers the orders from the weekend the stuff in the M&S bag is international orders but yeah trend so from straight from Susie's Susie. wardrobe Ruby oh is it yeah 
I love it. So you guys, thanks for the me fit. And then Salomon's. Salomon's and 194 local. I shared this earlier, but sometimes it's nice to get from another's perspective. Cute. Um, and then <laughs> we're off. Bye. <laughs> I'm just at my vintage market, I'm waiting for rivers because we're going to try and set up a few bits today. But I went to get myself a cardamom bun from Pavilion Bakery which is on Dre Walk, which I'll show you now. Yum. In the little unit space, um, we're just going to tag, I mean hang these up which were leftovers from the pop-up and then upload them onto our online system. Some plastic, not plastic. Um, paper bags for shoppers and customers and stuff and then I'm gonna open this box here I think it's like a tagging gun. I put this like silver Fabric up for the changing room. I'm not too sure if I love it um, I need to get more to put on the other side, but it's like this shiny silvery material I'm Not sure <laughs> Really cool gradient long sleeve turtleneck we kept this for ages and I've never uploaded it on Depop just because it's such a nice piece and I feel like it needs to be bought in real life just because the fabric is really, really soft as well. Brand. Guys, that is the end of my vlog. Sorry it was a bit like, all over the place. It kind of reflects how all over the place I was a little bit because I had like different things to do every single day. Watching some of the footage back last night and I've just filmed like bits of everything because at the pop-up it was just kind of difficult to film stuff. My shop is opening Friday 24th of November. So come and visit me. I'm going to be in the shop all weekend, the 24th to the 26th. So come visit me, say hi. Bought such good pieces. I think next week I'm going to show you guys setting up the shop, finishing the shop because um, obviously next week it opens and we've got to do a lot of stuff before then i've set up a new instagram and tiktok just for the shop so it's things that are going to be restocked things in the shop solely and then everything to do with like depop pop-ups and stuff to do with my own styling things are going to be on my own vivian tang instagram so so excited and i just want to say a massive thank you for everyone who made the effort to come to my pop-up with the girls as well I, like i just can't describe the feeling it's so so heartwarming to see people love and style your clothes in so many different ways and i don't know it just it just makes me feel really really like sweet and warm just because it makes my hard work feel like it's paid off in a way i always enjoy doing in-person retail kind of experiences just because it gives me a chance to meet people who follow me and who buy from me i sell online and stuff and sometimes it's difficult to connect online and connect over text and things um or i won't be able to like speak to everyone online as well but when it's in person it's just really sweet um and i really hope that everyone who came had a lovely experience and i really would like to see pictures of you in your own clothes if you if you don't want to post it you can just send it to me via dm like i honestly just love seeing everyone style their stuff i'm like the pieces i bought a lot of pieces which i personally just really love and from my own wardrobe but i just haven't been able to wear it i just didn't know how to style it it didn't necessarily suit me but like i was so attached to the piece because i knew it was such a lovely good item but i had to let it go and i think pop-ups kind of forced me to do that just a thing that is quick and like i can decide quickly that i'm just gonna let someone else have it rather than think through it when i'm selling it online so it was just nice to see people it a lot better than I do and kind of release my attachment to some pieces of clothing so really can't wait to show you guys the shop new Vivi Way designs um yeah I'm just feeling so so nice and warm thank you so much for watching honestly I, I've posted two videos on YouTube like new videos I used to post YouTube back in the day but yeah I posted two videos over the last two weeks and I literally didn't think like people would watch it so much you to everyone who's like subscribed and actually watch these videos like i don't know like i'm just a bit shocked really so thank you so much yeah i'll see you in my next vlog